Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this poncho here. It's made with the peacock, peacock stitch. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but it's really pretty. It's really large fans, actually. So I'm making this the front of my poncho, and you can see that the fans kind of go added downward. But when you put it on and someone looks at you from the back side, the fans will be going upwards. Or you can make this the front and the other side the back. It's completely up to you, however you want to do it. Now this is a one size fits most poncho. So it'll fit. It's nice and big and fit most people. And I do not have a written pattern for this. I'm sorry. I only have the video. And the peacock stitch is actually pretty easy to do. Sewing it up was kind of a nightmare. But I got it done. It's made with two rectangles exactly the same and then we'll sew them together so let's go ahead and get started on it okay for this project i used a lion brand shawl on a ball it's a um, medium weight four ply um, cotton acrylic blend um, you can use any type of four ply yarn that you have this one is just really it's a uh, I don't know how to put it, danier or lacier. So it has a bit more of a drape on it. Um, that's why I chose that. But, you know, any, any floor plant is going to work. But this one just is, it drapes better. And the color I used is called Healing Teal. It was really pretty. It's actually the first time I used this color. And the blues in it were, turned out to be really pretty. And there are 481 yards per skein, and I used not quite, two, almost all of two skeins, so um, if you want to put fringe or anything on it, you're going to need another skein for sure. Um, I did want to put fringe on mine, but I ran out, so I don't really want to order anymore, so it still looks good without it. So, But that's what you'll need if you want to do it like mine, two skeins. So I have like, like this much left. A little bit of balls and stuff <laughs> not much and then i'm going to be using a size k which is a six and a half millimeter crochet hook now this stitch is done in a multiple of 10 plus two so if you want to make it bigger or smaller or use it for another project, you know what multiple to use. Okay, for mine, I started out with a chain of 52. Now, I already made my big piece, um, so I'm going to start out on a smaller scale. But you go ahead and start with a chain of 52. And what we're going to do is put one single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. Remember that we never count the one that's on our hook. And then we're going to put one single crochet in every stitch all the way across. This yarn, if you've ever used it, it's not the easiest yarn to work with, but it is really pretty. So one single crochet every stitch across until the end of the row. And when you get to the end of the row, you should have 51 stitches. Okay, when you make it to the end and you have your 51 stitches, what you want to do is for row 2, is chain 1 and turn your work. And we're going to put one single crochet right back into that very same stitch. So that very, very, very first one. Put one single crochet into it. Like that. Now we're going to skip 4 stitches. So skip, skip 1, 2, 3, 4. And in the next one, we're going to put 11 triple crochets. 11 of them. So that triples where you yarn over twice. So skip four. One, two, three, four. And in the fifth one, 11 triple crochets.
to a lot of triples. <laughs> Make some big old shells. Okay, that's 11. Always count to make sure here. Okay. That's, and that's your first fan you got made there. And now we're going to skip four. One, two, three, four. And single crochet into the next. Like that. And now we're just going to kind of repeat that. So we're going to skip four again. Skip, 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 one, two, three, four, and put 11 triple crochets into the next one. So skip one, two, three, four, and then the fifth one again. 11 triple crochets. There's 11. <laughs> okay, I always count this to make sure. So there's your second fan. So again, we're going to skip four. One, two, three, four. Single crochet into the next. Skip four. One, two, three, four. 11 triples into the next. And we're just going to repeat that to the end of your row. And you should have five fans when you reach the end. Okay, when you did your last fan, remember I did mine a little smaller because I already have my big pieces done. You should have five fans. And what you want to do is skip four and single crochet into the last. And you want to make sure you pull your fan over because sometimes the stitches get hidden. But one, two, three, four. You should have five stitches left. So skip the four and single crochet into that last one. And that'll be the end of row two. And you'll have five fans. Now for row three, we're going to chain four, which is going to count as a triple crochet. And then we're going to turn our work. And then I'm going to put another triple crochet into that very, very same stitch. Right in the same one like that. Now I'm going to do a chain of five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to come up to the fan and I'm going to put a single crochet in the middle stitch. So I'm going to put a single crochet in the sixth stitch of this fan. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Since there was eleven sixth one will be our middle one just like that single crochet and then I'm going to chain five again one two three four and five now I'm going to start my repeat right here in the single crochet I'm going to do a triple crochet right into that single crochet a chain of one and then another triple crochet. So it's like a V stitch made with triple crochets. Triple crochet, chain one, triple crochet into that single crochet. And then I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to put a single crochet in the sixth stitch of my next fan. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right into the top of it. Then I'm going to chain five. I'm just going to keep repeating this now. I'm going to put my triple crochet, chain one, triple crochet V stitch right here into this single crochet. So I'm going to triple crochet, chain one, and triple crochet. And then I'm going to put 
chain five and put a single crochet into the middle stitch of my next span, the sixth stitch. And I'm just going to keep repeating that. Then I'll chain five again and I'll put my triple crochet V stitch into my next single crochet. And you want to repeat this until you get to the end of the row. Okay, I've made it here to my last fan and I just did a single crochet in my middle stitch and I chained five. Now what I want to do is I want to do two triple crochets in this last single crochet over here on the end. Two triples and that will end row three. Just like that. So that's what it starts to look like. Remember mine's smaller but. Now for row four we're going to chain one and turn our work. And we're going to put one single crochet in the very same stitch. And then we're going to put one single crochet into the next stitch. Now what we're going to do is we're going to skip this chain of five and we're going to work a fan in this next single crochet. So we're going to put 11 triple crochets into this next single crochet. Skipping this chain here and put 11 single crochets. These are some big old fans. All right, there's 11. Okay. Now I'm going to skip this chain of five again, and I'm going to put a single crochet in this space right here of this V stitch. Just one single crochet. And that is kind of the repeat now for this row. We're going to skip this next chain right here and put a fan right here in this single crochet so it'll be right on top of this fan so we're 11 triple crochets right here into this space it's hard to do it without pulling out making a kind of a hole there I kind of try to just hold it tight down here so it don't make a big gap. And this is so many stitches into one, it's hard not to have a little hole there. There's 11. Now we're just going to come over and single crochet right here in our next triple, this next chain space of this big V stitch. Single crochet and repeat again. Skip this chain. We're going to put a fan in the top of this next single crochet. And we're just going to keep repeating this until we get to the end of the row. Okay, I'm coming to the end of row four and I just did my last fan. I'm going to skip this chain here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one single crochet into this top of this triple crochet here at the end. And then I'm going to put one single crochet in top of this chain four here at the end. Just like that and that'll end row four. Okay, it's just a repeat of rows three and four. So if you need to remind me and listen to row three again, but you'll get the hang of it. It's really actually pretty easy to do. 
So just keep repeating rows three and four. Okay, you want to work until you have 24 rows of the shells. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and then go ahead and do the row with the V stitches and the chains right after that. So that's how you want to end. And then what we're going to do, once we get that many rows, is I'm going to do a row of single crochet right here at the top to make the row nice and even so when we sew it together it's easier to sew together. So once you get your 24 rows of shells here and you just when you went ahead and did this last row of V stitches, what we want to do is just chain one and turn our work. And I'm just going to simply do a row of single crochet across the top to end it. So I'm going to put one single crochet in each of these first stitches. And then the chain five, I'm going to put five single crochets across, or five single crochets right through this chain five. That. And then right here in this single crochet, one single crochet in it. And then five single crochets through the next chain space. And then the V stitch, put one single crochet into that triple crochet, one single crochet into the middle of the V one single crochet into the next triple crochet and now we're just going to kind of repeat this five single crochets through this chain five space one single crochet into this next single crochet one single crochet and or five single crochets into the next chain five five space and then the V stitch one in the top of the 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 triple one in the chain space and then one in the top of the next triple and we're just going to keep repeating that until we get to the end of the row. Okay, when you make it to the end here, you just want to put one single crochet in this last triple. And then one single crochet into the top of this last chain four. And then we can tie that off and clip the yarn. And now what we just do, we just need to make two pieces the exact same, same length and everything. And then we'll sew them together. And I already have my two pieces done. So I'll show you how we're going to sew them together. Here's both my pieces. Okay, here's how you want to lay your piece out at first. Um, it, you want to put the wrong side facing up. I had a little trouble with this yarn determining which was the wrong side. So just whichever side that you like least, make it face up like this. And then what I did is I just used a uh, yarn needle and a piece of yarn and I just sewed these two pieces together as neatly as I could. And right here you can see the seam. So that's the first thing that you want to do. Now what we're going to do is we're going to flip the piece over to where the right side is facing us. So we'll just take it, give it a flip. So 
Sorry about that. Now you can see the seam there that I did. But what we want to do now is we just do it this way so the seam is always on the inside of your piece. Okay. Now what we're going to do is now I'm going to take this a longer piece here and you can tell it's longer. I mean they're the same size but you can tell it's longer because it's been sewed and it makes this one look shorter. See? So this long one here and we take it and we're going to fold it all the way over to the end. Right there. So it lines up there. And then we're going to take this piece right here and bolt it down and then we're going to sew this piece to this one and then you get them together like that and then we're just going to neatly sew these two pieces together and you can see there's the neck of the poncho and then once we get these sewed together we'll flip it right side out and then both seams will be on the inside so you won't be able to see them so you can slip stitch it together or you can sew it i probably recommend sewing it Especially if you use this yarn, because if you look, you're working on the sides of these uh, triple crochets and chain fours, and you can't really see where stitches go. Over here, there's single crochets, but here on this side, there isn't. So you just gotta line it up and keep it as straight as possible, and I just sew it together with my needle. So I'll go sh show you how I do that real quick. Okay, now this is how I sew it together. I'm just going to take my ends here and line them up. And I got my yarn on my yarn needle. And I'm just going to neatly sew it all the way down. I go back and forth like this. Grab a piece on this side and a piece, a piece on this side. Go through. And like I said, this yarn is hard to work with. It's hard to see the stitches. And on this side, there's not really stitches. It's just the sides of the stitches. So it makes it even harder. But make sure you just grab a piece on this side and a piece, go through a stitch on this side. Pull it through. And the same over here. And just make sure you're keeping it as straight as possible. That way it's even with the other side. So that's how I sewed up both pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one sewed up. Now if you like prefer to slip stitch or something, you can. I just think it would be a little bit harder with these sides looking the way they do. But any way to get as easy as for you to get it sewed together as neatly and as straight as possible. So I'm going to finish this up and then I'm going to flip my work right side out. Okay, I got it sewed up and I flipped it right side out. So one side you can see the shells are going to be going like towards the downward motion. And if you turn it around, they're going to be going up. Up. So, I mean one, one like the back they'll be going up and then the front they'll kind of be going down. But I'm going to start and I'm going to go around the collar with a row of single crochet. So you can start in Okay, I'm going to start my yarn right here in the, at the seam where we sewed it up. Um, just kind of grab. Like I said, you're not going to really be able to tell where these stitches go that well. So I'm just going to kind of grab a stitch right here, right before, on the other side of the seam. And I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to go back into that same stitch and single crochet. And then I'm going to jump over here to this next little stitch here and single crochet. 
And then we're going to be at these chain spaces. And I'm just going to work right through the chain spaces here. And I'm going to put four single crochets in each one of, every time we hit one of these chain spaces. It's right through the space. So you just want to do the go around the collar the best you can, evenly spacing out single crochets. And then there'll be like a little stitch here next to the chain. I'm going to go into that single crochet. And then right through this chain, I'll put four single crochets. And then this stitch next to the, in between the chains, so I'll put one in that one. And then four into the chain space. And I'm going to do this all the way around the whole collar area, just evenly spacing out my single crochets. like that and you can kind of pull these and get them along the chains and get them evenly spaced out a bit so I'm going to keep going around until I get over here to the point on the other side okay I made it to my next point and I just continue doing the same thing single crochet and evenly spacing it out I just I just skipped the seam where the point was and just like we did in the beginning and I'm just going to continue going around doing the same thing Working four single crochets in these chain spaces here. And one like in him, this little stitch here. So I'm going to continue this until I get back around to my starting point. Okay, I've made it all the way back around to the beginning of my first, kind of at where the, my first point is. All I'm going to do is I'm going to go around one more time with a row of single crochet. So if you want to put a stitch marker here, you can to remember where you started. But I'm just going to skip this first single crochet that we that we did where we chained one and we single crocheted in the same spot right, right there. I'm going to skip that one and I'm just going to single crochet into the next. And now I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch until I get to the other point. And then I'll just skip uh, one of those stitches by the point too. And it'll just make, by skipping that stitch, it'll just kind of make the point still visible. And not so rounded, I guess. So now I'm just working one single crochet in every stitch. one more time around the collar or the neckline okay I've made it over here to the other point it's probably kind of hard to see but I'm just gonna skip a stitch right by the point and single crochet into the next and you, you don't even probably have to do that it's probably not even really making no difference but I was just trying to keep the point kind of at a point like that it's still a little rounded, I guess, but it's really not going to make a difference if you skip that stitch or not, I guess, now that I look at it. Oh, well. So I'm just going to continue around until I get back to my starting point. Putting one single crochet in every stitch. like this okay once you get the neck done that's really all I'm gonna do to mine I still got some tails to hide but if you want to put fringe on it you can if you want to put fringe though you'll need another skinny yarn because I'm about out and if you actually if you want to go around the edges with single crochet to clean them up you could too I'm not gonna do that because I think they look pretty good the way they are but, you know, that's always an option. If you want to clean up the edges a bit, you could do that all the way around. But that's all. After I get all my tails hidden, that's it. That's all there is to it. It's actually not a... Sewing it together was 
not the easiest, I don't think, but other than that, um, it turned out pretty good. Um, I hope you enjoy my tutorial. Please, please don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to my channel and check out all my other tutorials. I have hundreds of them on YouTube. Um, if you make this or anything else, I'd really love to see a picture of it. You can post a picture on my Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page. I'll put a link to that below in the description box. And I'll also put a link to my Instagram account too where you can follow me on there. And until next time, have a good day.